Hey everybody, thanks for checking us out today. I'm Chase from the Disc Golf Underground, and today we are gonna do an unboxing. This box came to me from Boda Brothers. If you're into disc golf and you're active on Facebook and or Kickstarter, you may have heard about Boda Brothers. That is the collaborative project with Steve Dodge and his brother Todd Dodge, where they are making board games. So they are both avid board game maker or board game players and recently they made a board game that is of interest to the disc golf community and that's what we are going to check out today. Have not opened it obviously. Uh, so I don't know what I'm getting, what I'm expecting. I am not going to lie, I'm not really a board game player. I don't have a bunch of board games but I thought why not let's support a disc golf group, disc golf company, disc golf players. And so I bought this game called Birdie Disc Golf. So, like I said, I'm not really a board game player. I haven't played a lot of board games in my life. Uh, my two brothers are board game experts. Uh, so Nathan, y'all know Nathan because he makes the, the disc golf course videos and a lot of the flyover videos with his drone. He's got every board game in existence, and he was actually a beta tester for Birdie Disc Golf. But he lives way out in Austin, and I live way out here in Houston, and we haven't got together to play it, so I haven't even seen anything other than occasionally he sends text messages of his family playing it, uh, the beta game that, that he got as a pre-release. But here in this box, we've got two big things. We've got a Boda Brothers sticker. There's Steve and Todd on there. That's fun. And then we've got this game that shows some disc golf action. So this is a dice game. So just looking on the back, you can see they've got a bunch of different dice you'll need to be used. So 20 sided dice, six sided dice, a bunch of different cards. We're gonna open it up and, and kind of see how things are going. So as part of this uh, board game experience, I went ahead and bought the expansion pack. I don't know if that's included in this or not. Um, well, this says it's the first run edition and it's the Maple Hill Gold's Paul Macbeth course record edition as well. But I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what that means. <laughs> so, I mean, obviously I know first run means their first, you know, production disc of the disc golf game. But I don't really know if that includes the expansion pack stuff that I got or not. So here we are. First things first, pre-divided out. You've got, this. make that look aesthetically pleasing. How about that? We've got player cards, karma cards in a mat, in a box there. More karma cards. Comes with four 10-sided dice, three 20-sided dice, six six-sided dice, and I don't know what these are called. They look like colored pennies. Multiple colors of these. I imagine this is gonna be our disc as we're using them a little bit later, but we'll see how that goes. So we've got some dice, the six-sided ones here, the 20-sided ones here, and our 10-sided dice as well. This is a board piece here. Oh. All right. There we go. So we've got a couple of different layouts here, it looks like. So just off the bat, what we're able to see here is you've got now I'm standing up and you can't really see me anymore, but I'm not as important as the game right now. Um, you can see this is obviously where it says hole 16 down here, hole 17, hole 18. Folds up pretty, pretty small. We'll get to see what this really means in just a minute once we open up some stuff. There's one board there with the games. And another board. So this has holes four, five, six on this side. And then we've got holes 13, 14, 15 on the other. So 
So six holes per card, it looks like. Which would mean we get three cards. And as this is the Maple Hill edition, I imagine that means each one of these is a literal representation of Maple Hill gold. So here we've got 10, 11, 12, and of course, one, two, three on this side. Interestingly here on these cards, let me fold this down so it's a smidge easier to see. You've got the hole we're gonna be playing, the sponsor of that hole, it tells you what par is as well as the distances, it gives us a tee pad here and tells us if we're playing I don't know what it tells us anything yet, to be honest. I don't know what it says. Other than that there's a bunch of squares and a bunch of colored things here that probably are going to be explained in the rule book once I get there. But needless to say, it's neat to see how it's represented so far. If I'm lucky, I will convince some people in my house to play this with me in the immediate to near future. And we'll have an experience to see what disc golf or what birdie disc golf is like from someone who doesn't play board games like myself. Uh, or the rest of my family, immediate family. We don't really do a lot of board games, but we'll get some, some insight and opinions from them to see what it's like. Uh, we do have scorecards here, pre-printed and done. And yeah, one page has one through nine. On the back side of it is gonna be 10 through 18. So that's for keeping score whenever we're playing with family and friends. And the Disc Golf Strong warm-up zone. We'll see what this really means in just a minute. On the back side here, there's gonna be a lot of rules. Probably looks like a quick page for rule sheets. Explain a little bit about what's going on here. Explaining all the different parts of the, of the playing board. So we've got that. And it looks like everything here that's left in this particular section are gonna be little pieces of the playing board. So, you know, this says, I can take this out for putting. We don't know what these mean yet, but it'll say safe shot on some of them, go for it. Distance down on the bottom. These look like bonus things. We'll see what that really means later. To help with organization, they included a couple little baggies. That'll be good, because I have smaller kids and the things will get lost if that's not wrapped up correctly. Um, another section here of little pieces that you can pull out. Oh, there's two of them. So two sections here of little pieces you can pop out, which we'll get to in just a minute. I will probably need to put this on pause in just a second, pop out all the pieces and get everything squared up and ready to go. I will need to go over and read the rule sheet to see how it goes. But um, everything here, a lot of instructions, but I'd rather know more of what we're doing than not. So, oh, interesting. It says you can play a solo game mode as well. Nice. I'm going to dig through this a lot and see what's going on. Lots of information in here. Rule sheet looks pretty, pretty jam packed full of, full of instructions here. It's not like the Monopoly game where everybody just thinks they know the rules and they make them up as they go, anyways. Or Risk. Everybody's done that with Risk before, too, I'm sure. Um, well, cool. That's what this looks like. I'm going to open up some things here. So let's see what these cards are before I start popping out all the pieces. And then I'll read over the rule book. And then I'll try and round up some people to play. My immediate family is not in town right now, but my parents live really close by. And my niece and nephew, Nathan's kids, who've probably played this game already. And actually, I know they've played this game already. They're here this week, so we'll be able to look around and get them to come over and they'll probably teach me how to play. So we've got some cards here, karma cards. Okay, so everything here is a karma card. There's a whole bunch of them. Some of them say, you know, play this before your roll, nice turkey, you get minus two on your roll. Or you crack a disc, play after a roll, that looks like you play that on somebody, uh, minus one card. So we'll, we'll look at all these in just a bit. There's an umbrella card, a wind jammer. So like if there's wind out on the course, it has no effect on you. 
Sun King sponsors this card, plus one to your dice. On the bottom of some of these sponsorship cards, because there's Fountain, Foundation Disc Golf, Sun King Disc, OTB, Infinite Disc, uh, Ulibari's brand. These all have little uh, barcodes. I don't remember what these square barcodes are called. Um, you know, the ones you take a picture with your Google Photos app and it takes you to a website. A lot of these Karma cards have these um, links to them that let you, not a lot of them, I guess, some of them have these little link cards to where you can find out more about the brand that sponsored this. So that's pretty neat. You know, there's a U-Disc dice here, or a card, a Yeti Disc Golf, Zuka cart. Um, that's pretty cool. A lot of really neat little supportive brands within the disc golf community. There's Whale Sacks, Smashbox TV, DGX. That's cool. All right. Oh, there's a Houston local. Michelle Illustrations. She makes jewelry for disc golf people. Michelle is an awesome photography photographer. She's got all kinds of neat stuff and comes out here and photographs Texas states and, and does a lot of really good picture work with the disc golf community. So, neat to see some local brands as well as some, some worldwide disc golf brands. I'll go through all this, like I said, open it up, see what I can find, and we will see what disc golf, or I'm sorry, what birdie disc golf is all about as we play together. Thanks for tuning in and watching this unboxing portion. Part two will be where we actually play and see how that goes. As uh, we're closing up here, I will take some, actually, let me do that right now. Let me take some pictures and some, video of what some of these cards look like so y'all can get a better close-up picture of it all right so i just opened up these karma cards the second pack and i noticed that this one here that i opened first says that's the expansion pack it has karma cards in it player cards in it and a zuka replay card so it looks like this first pack that I did is just the expansion one because when I opened up the second pack, it says base game, which includes karma cards, player cards, courtesy violation, placeholder card. So I'm not going to mix these up yet, but this is the base game. This is the expansion pack, but I'm going to show you with this video camera in just a second, what some of the up, up close stuff looks like. And then I will, keep these separated for now until I know if they're able to be merged efficiently or not. This is part of the expansion pack here. 